We're at Plymouth Eureka State Park, about an hour north of Truckee. We're kicking off our wildfire and forest resilience program. And we're doing forest thinning and hazardous fuel reduction to prepare for wildfire and to prepare for prescribed fire. When I think about the goal of the projects that we are a part of, um, the biggest thing is showing youth the different ways that we are working to conserve natural areas. This project specifically, we're doing fuels reduction, which is taking dead and down um, or dying trees and piling them up into piles that will be burned at a safer time. So that mitigates risk of wildfires being as severe and it allows this forest to grow in a more healthy way to continue to be safe in the future. And so fuels reduction is extremely important, but it's also like very sentimental for a lot of people in this area with the Dixie fire last year. Um, it was a huge fire that burned through a lot of homes, took out communities. Not only are we showing these youth that they have a way to return this environment to its natural um, state and to a healthy state, but also like rebuilding and healing communities at the same time. It makes it personal in many ways. The Dixie Fire burned a lot of our work sites that we we're going to be working in. So we've had to move around a little bit and it's just been making those areas safer for people to be in and helping restore the environment. I was evacuated for about three weeks, uh, which was really difficult. And I think that's why it makes what I'm doing here more meaningful. P Crew specifically makes a difference because it brings youth together from rural and urban areas and educates them in forest management, fire ecology, um, watersheds and just kind of environmental issues um, that, is, that are is happening currently and it gives them work experience and for me personally like I came back from P Crew and made a career out of it. I really love this kind of work and like this is like very defining. I don't know I really appreciate it and they've taught me a lot about perseverance and just like like what does it mean to be you and like what is to like to be yourself. Although like this isn't like my backyard or like it's like kind of far from like the Bay Area. This work will still impact me back in Oakland or my community and this community as well. There's so much work that goes into maintaining a forest. There's opportunities for everyone. This program really like shows people what other jobs there are in the world. I would say the unique relationship between Sierra Institute and many of the California state parks is a, a pathway. It's a liaison for these youth to not only discover new places that they're excited to return to with friends and family, but it allows them to have an opportunity to make a difference in those areas. And so they have a lot of different skills that they've learned and they've met a lot of different people. And so they're, they're networking and they're learning and they're growing all the time. And that is only available to them because of that relationship that the Sierra Institute and the state parks have. So the Natural Resource Stewardship Career Pathways Program is a program where we support partnership models across the state, where state parks are working with community-based organizations to provide career exposure and job training programs um, to communities that typically been underrepresented in the state parks workforce. Programs like these are great for relationship building. Participants are working alongside state park staff. State park staff are sharing their own career development journeys, offering different networking opportunities, and can become real mentors for participants as they consider their next steps in their careers. Seeing them grow into themselves and find that power within them to self-define is everything that they need and everything that we hope to provide for them.